Hey RVers and future RVers, in the world of rising costs for everything, including the kitchen sink, we've got a low family affordable travel trailer behind you. The 2024 Keystone Passport 284 QB comes in at under 30, sleeps eight to nine, and has got everything that you need to go camping. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go dive into this floor plan. All right, some of the awesome exterior features on this Passport start up front. We all go camping, we love to bring all our toys and gear and, accept, and all the fun things. We've got a lot of storage you're gonna see starting up front with a big pass-through storage from all the way, from both sides that you can get easily to your gear. While we're up here, we gotta talk about the buttons. There's a couple buttons that recess right inside for your landing uh, jacks. They are power, bringing the kiddos, let them push a button, get them to work, and that way you can go do something else. Power is also patio, patio time with the power awning. Look how wide this is. We've got a plenty of space to put a picnic table, couple chairs, throw an uh, awning mat out, have some good time. And patio, patio time wouldn't be anything without entertainment. We have cable and electric hookup here, so you can bring out a nice portable table, throw some uh, cooking uh, appliances, stereo, TV, etc., and really enjoy the outdoors here at your patio side. And I mentioned storage. This is a doozy back here. It's really cool. The floor plan has bunk beds in the back and what they've done is they elevated the bottom bunk a little bit to give us a really tall storage, a really wide storage underneath both sides of the bed and they've continued it all the way through on the backside wall. So if you have anything long, like maybe awnings, uh, fishing poles, big uh, easy uh, up tents, etc., this is where you're going to want to store it and maybe even a kid or two in case one of them gets out of hand. I'm kidding, just kid disclaimer, don't do this at home. On the back side, we have a couple things that Keystone has got you ready for. Getting up on the roof is essential. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check your sealants, check some of those plastic components if you had one of those uh-oh moments going through some uh, low hanging tri uh, trees. We are prepped for a ladder and we are also prepped for a backup camera to give us full visibility as we're backing up into the campsites. On the utility side, as we call it, again, it's the continuation of that big storage. This compartment door isn't as tall as the other one, but again, as much storage as this has, I'm sure you can make do and figure out where to strategically put everything. And lastly, up front, Keystone has got you covered with an instant water heater. You're gonna have eight, nine people in here taking showers, you're gonna need this. This is just like an instant water at home. You're hooked up, you turn the hot water on and instantly have a hot shower back uh, one after, after another. And last but not least, Solar Flex is a great buzzword that Keystone uses. They equip this trailer ready in case you're a boondocker and you wanna go out. We've got a lot of wiring that's already ready here for you. Throw on a lithium battery, throw on an uh, inverter, throw on some solar panels and you can get off grid. All right, let's face it. Vacations for eight or nine are super expensive these days. This affordable camper comes in under 30 and we can, like I said, sleep eight to nine. Starting up front of this 2024 Passport 284 QB is the living quarters, the main living quarters, if you call it. Got a big queen bed, ton of storage behind me that you can probably see with some shirt closets, some uh, cabinets up above, and on the um, nightstands on both sides with charging ports. Opposite windows open up and a nice breeze and also a TV access that you can um, hang a TV. It's already braced in the wall. So pick out your TV, let us get you a bracket installed for us. And the awesome thing that I love about this queen bed, if we're gonna have eight or nine pe uh, people in here, I need my privacy, am I right? Nice pocket doors to close the world off, so to speak. When you come inside the door, you have all the controls at your fingertips, all your lights, your awning, your slide out buttons, your uh, tank level monitor, et cetera. So I love the fact where it's accessed right here so I can come quickly in and check th on things. I also love right inside the door, they have this little space here. I can kick off my, my shoes or more importantly, have the kids kick off their shoes and kind of push them out of the way so we don't dirty up the floor. We've got drawers everywhere. 
and I thought this was a genius idea. They have cabinet doors on both sides of the, uh, underneath the kitchen sink and it's tall so we can easily get a trash can up underneath and keep it off the floor space. Continuing with the kitchen, a lot of counter space. Again, this L-shaped counter really pushes out the sink and gives me a lot of space back here for coffee pots and just whatever other gear that we need to kind of get out of the way at the moment. Above this, of course, we have our TV that we can swing out and position a little bit better. We've got a microwave to do some of our zapping real quick, our reheats. A three burner stove, uh, propane stove top with an oven. So it gives us plenty of options to, to get some of our fine camping food rolling. Again, storage pretty much everywhere that they can throw. Even just this little nook here that you can throw maybe some water bottles and some other, other big components that you need to kind of stow uh, tightly. 12 volt refrigerator. We are digging these 12 volt refrigerators. You haven't seen my other videos. The awesome thing about 12 volt refrigerator is it's depth. A lot of them are pretty much the same same height, but the 12 volt cool faster and gives us ton more storage. All right, opposite of all this kitchen area is our big slide out. As you can see, this is a full width slide. So what that does, that means we got the sofa, we've got the booth, all that pushes out full depth, gives us ton of floor space. So when I was telling you about sleeps eight to nine people, obviously you've seen the queen bed, but what we also have is the four uh, bunks that uh, you'll see here shortly in the back. And then these can also convert into a bed. So let's go ahead and do that so you can see by day, and then by night. There you go, there's one. Little puzzle piece, but easily put together. Throw on some sheets, throw on some uh, uh, a comforter, pillow, sleep one or two, and there you go. The other sleeping space is again, by day, you have a nice sofa here opposite the TV. You can do some TV watching, catching up on your sports or your news and just an easy futon style. Now we have a nice comfortable bed. Again, throw some sheets and some blankets on here and we've got a sleeping space for one. All right, moving to the back. I really dig this angle cabinet. So many of these floor plans in the past have this big area because they're really trying to maximize the interior storage, but then it just closes off and feel, it feels tight. So we have a nice corner closet, pantry, whatever you may choose. And there's plenty of space in there that I'm sure you can get a lot of goodies in there. Opposite of this is gonna be our bathroom. Our bathroom, again, for the size of the camper, gives you everything that you need some extra counter space, got your medicine cabinet, some storage underneath, and a shower here that's got plenty of elbow room. And don't forget, instant water here, a lot of long hot showers are uh, capable in this camper. All right, you've probably been waiting for it. This is what this floor plan is all about. Four individual bunk beds. This used to be a rocking floor plan for us I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. So many of the uh, travel trailer floor plans went to the double side bunk bed over top, one of top of the other. Do you know any kids that want to sleep together? Eh. Here you go, you have four individual beds. Everybody's got their own space. They've got lights, they've got windows, they've got drawers down here that they can throw all their gear in. Even a nice big uh, closet here, that, or I should say closet, some storage space here. And if you want to keep the kiddos entertained, again, another TV can be put up here and that way they can play some cartoons or catch up on their some of their fun um, uh, movies and such. So again, what do you think? Affordable, it comes in under $30,000. Again, about sleep eight to nine people and all these awesome features. It's the 2024 Keystone Passport 284 QB. All right, so a camper of this size that sleeps eight or nine people, great thing about it is it's about 30, 30 couple feet. There's not too much data out there yet. This is brand new on the market. Uh, comes in about 55, 5,800 pounds. So you don't need a massive truck to tow this camper. And that way you've got everybody in here. You don't need to spend a lot more money other than about $30,000, a little under $30,000 on this camper. To me, it's a two thumbs up. 
What do you think? Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below on any questions or anything cool that you saw. We'd love to um, ha uh, be able to answer some questions. Show us some love. Smash that subscribe button. Again, the 2024 Keystone Passport 284 QB. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites.